Hello, everybody. This is Philip calling from Switzerland. Hi, how are you? Hi, very good. Thank you. First of all, congratulations to your show. It's awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. In your words, what, what can the audience expect from season two? Uh, you can expect a lot of intensity, a lot of jaw-dropping moments, a lot of adrenaline <laughs> in season two. Okay. Yes, I think some more torment um, and uh, cliffhangers and um, more exploration in teenagers' lives and how they're feeling and dealing with things and the trauma that they bring wherever they go. It's it's actually so hard talking about uh, that show without uh, giving some spoilers. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I'm wondering, me, um, how does you guys feel about the the social experiment happens in the show? If that would happen in real life, what, what do you think about? If that were, if that were to happen in real life, I would love to see the headlines. Um, you know, I would I was, I would I would follow the trial of Gretchen Klein if you know whoever that would be if they ever got caught. I think that would grip the nation, if not the world. Um, and um, yeah, I I really hope it never happens in real life. I feel like it's like sort of happened in my real life, um, but obviously with a slight wall between reality and um, make believe, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I I second what you said. I would be following the headlines like anytime it updated because that's just insane. It is an actual insane concept uh, to to approach and to have. So. Um, yeah, be very interested to follow the story and also bring relief and see what you can do for all the traumatized teenagers that were a part of it. <laughs> do you think you would survive uh, on, on an island like this? I hope so. Yeah, I'm going to say I would. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, you're very uh, reliable in that sense. I'm too afraid of the bugs. Uh, <laughs> But I think I could end up being very resourceful. Okay. I think so too. Thanks. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> what would you miss the most on a on a lonely island? What do you think? A shower and some food. And my family. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think a shower too. I feel like that can be such a good mental reset as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I a shower. Completely. So the, the show is set somewhere around Hawaii. We don't know uh, really, but it was filmed in New Zealand. Uh, what, what was like that? We filmed um, season one in New Zealand and parts of season two actually in New Zealand, and but uh, mostly in Australia. And um, I think is a similarity between drawing similarities between myself and, and the character is that I was in um, an environment that I'd never been in before, which Leah and, and these girls are as well. Um, so I think it brought a sort of certain layer of uh, a new reality to it, um, like genuine discoveries and a real sense that you were in a place. Um, yeah, I feel very lucky to have been to those countries there it was an incredible experience something that changed my life in a lot of ways yeah I think it definitely added to the characters and being in a foreign place you've never been before for you know just our profession and our art um, but then on top of that just as a person to go to these different countries and experience life outside of America and I, I was really in awe I think it was really beautiful um, and just learned about different ways of life and uh, a different culture. And I'm super appreciate, appreciative of that. I never made it to Australia or New Zealand, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but I guess the, the, the nature and the animals are completely different. It's than in the States, I guess. 
yeah, I fed a kangaroo out of my hand and that was pretty insane. And I held a koala and it was um, beautiful. I, I love animals. And so to be able to go and experience that was um, really special to me and seeing the sanctuaries they have for them. Uh, it's, it was amazing. What do you yes, the, the fauna as well. Um, you know, we were, some of the scenes, uh, there's, I think they're like thousands of year old uh, fig trees mm. and with these giant um, roots. I mean, it's just, I, I apart from redwoods that I've seen in the States, I had sort of never really seen uh, something that just felt that ancient to me. Um, yeah. What what was the biggest challenge shooting this show? I think the intensity of the scenes um, that I know for myself for the scenes that I had this season um, in the elements we're always in the elements that's always been a challenge of the show but to get to these emotional places that in heightened elements with crazy weather and then on top of that your character is at this very heightened emotional state I think that was probably the most challenging. Uh, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I think just um, wanting to consistently deliver uh, and chart the, your character's um, journey throughout the season and, and sort of taking that one step at a time and also having a season to back that up and sort of use as momentum, but then also uh, you know, sort of a gauge as to what you were what you were trying to accomplish in this the second time around um having consistency and yet um you know newness and, and discovery and in, in this person's trajectory i found that was sometimes um it wasn't that it was difficult it was just that there was a a pressure to want i want to get it right and owe it to the characters that the writers developed and and that I had worked on previously. Um. Okay, so unfortunately my time is up. Uh, Sarah, Rain, thank you so much talking to us. To us. Uh, again, congratulations, uh, and I hope I see you soon for a season three. Finger crossed. Thank you so much. <laughs>